Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about a book that was sent to me for free, for review, from Atria Publishing, and that is The Night She Disappeared. Right? Yeah, The Night She Disappeared, sorry, uh, by Lisa Jewell. I'm a big uh, Lisa Jewell uh, fan. I usually, they usually send me her newest book every single year. Um, and this one, for those of you who are here for the TLDW, this one was not her best. Uh, in fact, it's probably my least favorite of all of her books, and that is not to say that I didn't like it. It's just, well, we'll get we'll get into that. But those of you who are too long didn't watch, that's what that's how I'm feeling. I'm gonna give this one three stars. Um, okay, so the first thing, this is a uh, this is a slow burn. In fact, damn near every review I've read so far of it uh, says that it's a slow burn, and it is a slow burn. The problem that I have here, you know, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I look for character, pacing, and dread in everything that I read. The characters here were not as unique as Lisa Jewell's characters usually are. One of my favorite characters in the, of the past decade is Owen from uh, Invisible Girl, uh, which was, I believe, last year's Lisa Jewell release. Um, and he was such a fantastically dynamic character. He was an insul. Um, he, he had all these issues, all these different problems that I really latched onto. Not that I'm, I just like reading about people that are completely different from myself. Uh, they're, <sighs> This one just does not have those unique characters that I tend to find in, in Jewel books. Uh, I didn't, with Tallulah, with Zach, with uh, Kim, with Sophie, Sophie, Sophia, it's one of those two. None of these characters really jumped off the page for me. Um, and I think that more than anything is, is why I'm giving this one three stars. Uh, I'm taking a whole two points off for characters because it just, I don't know, it just, I don't know if I'm burned out on Lisa Jewel or what. But I, I just I just didn't care for any of these characters. Uh, it was a very very basic plot. Um, the uh, Tallulah and Zach go missing. Um, it's called the night she disappeared, but it's actually both of them. Uh, they're a couple. Kim is Tallulah's mother, uh, and then there's a baby. Uh, Tallulah's baby. His name is Noah. Uh, and then there's an author named Sophie, Sophia, I can't, I can't remember. Um, the book also jumps back and forth through time, and sometimes it can be a bit confusing. Uh, you have to keep going back to, to find out, okay, well, this date, th this year, usually it's like a, a month and a, and a year at the beginning of a chapter. Um, that one was a tad bit confusing. Not, not really, I mean, it's just... I don't know that the flow. So the pacing was kind of off for me also, um, but I'm not taking anything away from that because I don't think the story could have been told any other way. Um, and then finally, the dread. I wanted to know what happened, but I kind of assumed early on what had happened. And I was right because there's a red herring set up from the beginning. These are minor spoil spoilers. So if you don't want to know anything else about the book, you can click away. Minor spoilers in three, two, one. Um, it's set up very early on as a red herring that Zach might have killed and you know, kidnapped or killed uh, Tallulah, her her boyfriend, who is uh, hoping to propose to her, um, and she ends up having uh, a love affair with a woman named Scarlet, and she's going to break it off. So it is set up right from the beginning that Zack is the one who possibly killed or kidnapped or whatever made her dis made Tallulah disappear. I knew that wasn't going to be in it because it was way too obvious and Lisa Jewell doesn't do obvious. Um, but So I, I kind of figured either Scarlet or Tallulah killed Zack and they were in hiding. And, and for the most part, that's what happened. Um, that isn't really minor spoilers, but I, just the lead up to that section, it, it wasn't too, too, too bad. And I did enjoy reading it, but I never wanted to put it down. It was just so basic. Um, compared to all of Jewel's other books. Uh, the writing is just as fantastic as usual. Um, she has a very literary flair with her with her thrillers, and I appreciate that. But this one overall, it was it was good. It was good. It was it wasn't okay. I didn't hate it. So I'm gonna stick with three stars here. Um, I, I think my favorite character in the entire book was maybe maybe. Uh, I would say it was Kim, probably. I think it was, you know, 
seeing this uh, mother, this grandmother, having to take care of this child and also uh, deal with everything else that was going on, uh, her missing daughter, all, all the mystery behind it, not knowing what to do. I felt her emotions were accurate and valid. And it just, it, 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 uh, she she was still kind of a wishy-washy character for me, but as far as favorite character, I'm gonna have to go with Kim. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm just I'm at three stars. I don't I don't know. This is this is one of those times when I felt meh, and unfortunately, I feel like that's the worst possible way you can feel about a book. Um, you know, at least one and two stars, you're like you hated it. You have you know a lot to complain about. Here, I don't really have anything to complain about. It was just super basic, and I hate that because Jewel stuff usually isn't basic. I remember watching you was fantastic. My favorite one so far is Invisible Girl. That Owen character was uh, was fascinating to read about. Absolutely killed killed it with that character. Um, in fact, I would probably go as far as saying it's in my top. He's in my top ten characters of all time. Um, so maybe that had that's colored this review some because the last book was and there, it's not a series, but the last book was so fantastic. Uh, and I also kind of want to see Jewel get away from this missing persons thing. Um, it works. It works fine, but it's very Harlan Coben. You know, it's, it's like the same thing. Somebody disappears, and you got to find out what's going on. Um, and I'm, I'm getting tired of that. I would love to see her do something different. Watching you was completely different. Um, but anyways, have you read The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell? If you have, let me know if you loved it, hated it, felt mad about it. If you felt any of those things, let me know in detail down there in the doobly-doo so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!